Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to the magical, magical mystery tour. It's coming to take you away. Take you today. Today we are going to do a cube draft. We just finished some black... I'm going to actually change the title of the stream because people are going to be like, Did I miss the blue black control deck in modern? And I'll be like, Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did, Brett. Yes, you did. And Marcellus Wallace don't like watching Modern. Thank you. Imperial Swag, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Sorry I didn't catch you much while you're live. I, hey, listen. If anyone is, 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 is misses us live, um, but then catches us on YouTube and still subscribes, the, the amount of times you need to apologize for that is literal zero. Did I miss the blue? T. Jesse, listen. Get out. Just get out. Come on, let's go. Come on. Come on, little one. Come on there. Oh, no, 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 no. I insist to be here when they're born. Come on, little one. Raptors. You read raptors here. Yes. That's from Jurassic Park. You guys ever seen Jurassic Park? That was a good movie. They heard it. They're like, here you go, man. Like, let's not even, let's play games. What if we take the worst card in every pack? What's the worst card? Devil's Play? Probably Devil's Play. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Vendillion Clickums. You should hack your MTG client so that when the draft starts, instead of playing the pack opening sound, it fires off an air horn. I don't know if I can do that. Bird of Paradise is pretty nice. I do like a bird a lot here. I think it's probably Bird of Paradise. Yeah, it was actually the prequel to Jurassic World. That is correct. I'm cooking food, so I'll be right back. Thank you for being awesome and playing my day. Dockery, anytime, buddy. Really appreciate the opportunity. I like that we've gone through Blue Light Control so many times, and every time I'm like, eh, that still seems good. Worst card tip sounds fun in the sense that, like, we're going to take all the cards, we're going to play all the games, and we're going to be miserable the whole time. We're going to be like, okay. Ah. I guess we're losing again because all these cards are terrible. Hey, future me on YouTube, you've already seen this one, you dumbo. Wow, that's a good, that's actually a good strategy. Did I see this one? Oh, I told myself in the chat that I did, so I know I did. That's actually, that's brilliant. God, you're so smart, Drew. Do you have any thoughts on five color humans? I think it's fine. I don't know if it's still the powerhouse that it used to be, but I think it's fine. This pack is actually pretty tricky. Do we just go Immortal Sun? I'm going to take Immortal Sun because I never get Immortal Sun. The problem is I just want to draft all the Planeswalkers, so it leaves me in this awkward position where I'm like, well, now I can't. I'm building a cube right now. I was wondering if you have a list of your paper cube. If you still, I do, I do. Uh, actually, you can go cube list. Or Frank cube, maybe? Maybe it's Frank cube. Mimic? But it's alright. Like, I don't want to have that many six drops. Maybe it's Frank's cube? I don't even know what my cube is. I don't know what my command is. God, I'm terrible. How do I even exist in this stream? Maybe it's a Johnny? Maybe it's Gifts Ungiven? I'm gonna take the gifts ungiven. I don't love it, but maybe we can get some gum, some goodness, some like unbarrel rights shenanigans. I don't know. Lumbering Falls is nice. I like a Gruel Signet here though, especially because it could lead us into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three cards are coming back. It could lead us into Teamer, which I'm okay with trying. Also, if we get Magma Jet Explosion Expansion or Supreme Will or Lumbering Falls, I'd be okay. There are four cards in here that I would not mind tabling. 
Oh, Frank's Cube. Nailed it. Nailed it. N -n 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 Nailed it. Why did he do that? God, he's weird. I don't know, man. We can also play Boros Signet. This pack's also pretty interesting. That Legion War Boss. Flooded Strand, which doesn't get anything here. Orzhov Signet. I think it's just Boros Signet. Again, get them Barrel Rights Dreams. We could also be Bant. And then we have two red splashes here. I don't know, man. Magic is hard. I like Stomping Ground a lot. I like Electrolyze a lot too, but like here's the thing. We want we want the Electrolyze because it's a better card. But Stomping Ground lets us cast things like Electrolyze into the future. I don't think Path, because we're not like we don't have any reason to be white here. That is assuming there was a path in the last pack. Eh, I like Fertile Ground. Oh, there's a Karn, though. Oh, but do we have an Immortal Sun? <coughs> so if we actually um, if we actually play Karn on 7 and we have Immortal Sun out, we can actually just exile the Immortal Sun, which lets us use the Karn abilities. Think about that, guys. It doesn't work. Don't actually try to do that. It could just be Wandering Fumeral, too. We have two and a bird already. Two and a bird already is what we got. I think it's... Wandering Fumeral doesn't let us cast Bird of Paradise, though. I want to take Fertile Ground. I think Karn is better than the Immortal Sun, but I like the Immortal Sun better than Karn at this juncture in my life. None of these cards are great, except... Actually, Wolfier Silverheart's pretty good. I'm always... I'm actually consistently impressed with Wolfier, so Wolfier Silverheart. Um... I'm going to try this Tristani out. Lightning Helix, we can cast it off of our Boros Signet. Also Burst Lightning, which doesn't have the same white requirements. Are we just four color, no black? <laughs> that's pretty cool. We could do that. I'll take the Lightning Helix if that's the case. Wow, Progenitor Mimic came back. Actually, I like Ingot Chewer a little better. I just want to have a way to deal with artifacts. Explosion Expansion, that'll do. All is dust is interesting. Oh, so crap's not even terrible. All right. <clears throat> like, just even if you go, like, turn five Silverheart, turn four Silverheart onto a bird and you attack for four in the air, it's just a four five. This is not a stip. Gristlebrand. Gristlebrand's nice if we do get the Umbero rights, right? Like, we can just go Gifts Ungiven, Gristlebrand, Umbero rights, and then... Oh, I totally forgot the Stip. Oh my god, Elk Tears, why didn't you tell me? The next one will be the Elk Tears. I totally forgot. I... And Elk Tears, I don't even know if he's in the chat right now. He just didn't say anything, so... I totally forgot. We're not taking Ashiok, because we literally have nothing, no way to black. We have no way to black, but I bet knowing my knowledge of this format, this Gristlebrand does come back. And we can easily take this breeding pool, which is nice. Yeah, I'm going to take that. I like Batter Skull, but I don't like Batter Skull if there's no Stoneforge Mystic, because why? Two fixing lands, and they are both black based. I don't think we can cover. We have Fertile Ground, Boros Signet, and Gruel Signet so far, and Bird. So we have like four ways to ramp uh, past turn two. I would much rather have a breeding pool so that we can search for it if we get it makes all of the fetch lands better in the future. I like Huntmaster here. <clears throat> I also like Rex Sage, but we do have an Ingot Chewer, which makes me less inclined to play this. Uh, I don't care about Dream Eater, and Ancestral Vision is always always feels a little too slow for me. Man, this is a good pack. Oh, oh, oh! Ow! Ow! I'm taking the Umbero Rights. This is this is the dream we wanted to have happen with the Gifts Ungiven. So we're going to take Umbero Rights. We're going to put Gifts Ungiven and the Gristlebrand May Table. However, the problem is if we have Gristlebrand in our hand, pretty brutal. But that's life. 
that's a risk. That's a risk we're going to take. I like Elf of Deep Shadow here. I also like Find Finality a lot, even though it is a black card. You can play the first half without, you know, the, the black. Also, Elves of Deep Shadow does let us cast Umbrella Rights if it's in our hand. I like Elf of Deep Shadow there. Vraska Relic Seeker is so good. So is Eldest Reborn. <clears throat> Woodfall Primus is actually another creature we can put in our graveyard with Umbrella Rights pretty easily. I actually kind of like that. I like Vraska, but again, like Immortal Sun, ugh, man. I think it's one of these two. Yeah, I want to take Primus because we have the Umbrella Rights. Dear God. Oh, actually, Jace is fantastic for us because we do get to uh, <clears throat> we get to discard the cards that we can't cast. I like Jace a lot here. I'm a big fan of that. Steam Vents. Good deal. Good deal. Oracle of Moldiah. Oh, biscuits. Oh, buttery biscuits. We have Breeding Pool, Stomping Ground, and we have Steam Vents as well, which is three of our main colors. <clears throat> That's interesting. I don't know what to make of that. I don't, even, I don't know if it's Oracle or it's Steam Vents. I think it's Steam Vents, but... Immortal Sun was picked, too. What's that, what's, what does that mean? Farseek. It's actually pretty good. It gets all the things. I also like Night of Autumn because it's pretty strong here. <clears throat> we can cast it off Boros Signet and Bird of Paradise and Fertile Ground so far. We have main colors. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. I think it's better than a Farseek, especially because there could be a rampant growth coming. And this is basically like a uh, Reclamation Sage uh, on upgraded upgraded reclamation sage yeah calling it seems fine <clears throat> i think it's i think all these cards are good i would take any of one of these cards and play it but i would rather have the fixing especially if we're trying to damn the rex sage did come back well that's a thing don't care about dream eater i really don't <clears throat> i'll take a rex sage cliff top retreat seems great all right that's nice or we hoping came back. Let's see if it'll come back. <clears throat> Thorn Lieutenant's a nice little two drop. So is Mere Battlesphere though. Mere Battlesphere is pretty castable, I think. I'm gonna take the Battlesphere here. Dragon Lord of Tarka, also playable. Holy jeez. Oh, Gristlebrand didn't come back. Man, that was... So I'm glad we got a Dragonlord and a Mirror Battlesphere because that makes this... That makes us a little more... Res oh, Manic Vandal is great too. Look at all our... We have a ton of ways to deal with artifacts. We have Rex Sage, Manic Vandal, Ingature, and Knight of Autumn in our, in our main deck. That's pretty baller. I like Wooded Foothills a lot. I also like Sylvan Carrot and Cultivate here. Yeah, I put Stunning Reversal in my cube because it seems super fun. Uh, if Stunning Reversal is if you would die, instead don't die. I'll just show it to you. It's probably on Magic Online. I can't imagine it's not. It's n Oh, I just don't own it. Come on. Yeah, Stunning Reversal. Four mana. The next time you would lose the game this turn, instead draw seven and your life total becomes one. It's pretty insane. Like, it seems like a super cool cube card. So it's in my cube. I definitely don't think it's Sword. I think we want more fixing. Like, Wooded Foothills gets a Stomping Ground, Steam Vents, or Breeding Pool. Uh, my cube does not have Thousand Year Storm. It doesn't have any Storm decks, though. Because you had to make cuts. Like, the, the Vintage Cube has, like, 560 cards. 540 cards, so I cut it down to 360. So you're losing, like, 180 cards. So you have to actually be pretty liberal with your cuts. I think it's Cultivate here. I took the Foothills because they also have Kodama's Reach, which is possible to get in this cube. Um, this pack's interesting. There's a lot of good stuff in here. Dragonlord, Silumgar, but we're not black. 
Uh, Arid Mesa could be fine. It can get Stomping Ground and Steam Vents, and that's three of our three of our colors. If we get like a any white blue land or white green land, gets that as well. Terastodon is a thing. It could just be Carnage Tyrant too. Carnage Tyrant's kind of a beating. I actually like Venser too. We don't have that much play here. Like we don't have a lot of. Uh... So you think sacrificing variety for consistency is worth? Uh... <clears throat> so I, I I've gone over this a bunch. So if you guys are listening on YouTube and you've heard it before, I apologize. Um, the reason I like 360 is that you see all the cards. There's nothing more frustrating than like trying to draft Splinter Twin and you get a Kiki Jiki <clears throat> and you get a Splinter Twin and then you realize that oh wait the actual Deceiver Exarch and Pestermiter are actually not even in the drafted cards because if 360 is 8 people so the other 140 180 cards uh just aren't just aren't played you just don't see them so <clears throat> uh that's that's not great for me when you're trying to like have cohesive strategies in cube because you want to make sure that all of the cards are at the table, I think. <clears throat> That's just my opinion. That's just my preference. And um, so that being the case, like, Storm has, like, a lot of cards that don't do anything, and there's no real overlap. Like, you can play Splinter Twin in your green deck and put it on, like, a Woodfall Primus or something. And you can play it in your white deck with, uh, not Restoration Angel per se, but... Um, you know, like, uh, Village Bell Ringer, right? If that's the guy. <clears throat> so, like... There's a lot of overlap for cards, but for the Storm cards, there's not really much overlap. Like Cabal Therapy, not Cabal Therapy, Cabal Ritual, Pyretic Ritual, Lion's Eye Diamond. Like all these cards are just blanks outside of the Storm deck. So I just, it, by and large, they're not as fun as the other cards. I'm going to take Sacred Foundry because it lets Wooded Foothills get us a white mana. This guy, that, guy, that guy's pretty good. Are we a tooth and nail deck? Like we actually have some pretty good targets so far. We don't have any. Uh... So like there was there was a, so many storm cards in the deck in the in the cube. I just started cutting cards that didn't do anything outside of the storm deck, and even in the storm deck, they technically did nothing. You know what I mean? So I just started cutting cards like that, and it ended up being pretty easy to to get to three sixty after that. I don't actually know what the pick is here. Wind, Windswept Tease is great for us. Again, gets Stomping Ground, Sacred Foundry, uh, and Breeding Pool. All of our colors. Everix, thank you so much for the reset. Welcome back. Free step at seven months? Well, it's only six months, buddy, so get wrecked. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think that actually wrecks you. I think that's just... I also like... Um, God, Tooth and Nail is so strong. I think just being able to play our lands is uh, more valuable here. I don't like this pack's not great. I like Ral a lot, <laughs> but again, it's actually probably Conclave Tribunal. Conclave Tribunal is pretty strong here. I, I wanted to take Fairgrounds Warden, but I like Conclave Tribunal because you know it's funny. But the only reason we didn't take Teferi is because of the Immortal Sun, and I like I like the Immortal Sun strategy that we're trying to implore here. I'm really hoping Cultivate, or I'm really hoping Cultivate comes back, or we see a Kodama's Reach. Search is not bad. Inferno Titan's pretty good. <clears throat> Temple Garden's real nice. That would actually be great for our mana base. Thrag Tusk is good. I actually like I like the Trostani because we're in a position where like mind control is bad. Sower of Temptation's not great. Like we can actually just make sure we can steal all our guys. I actually think I I, I agree with you ordinarily about Cyclonic Rift. I don't know if it's actually that strong in this cube. That's been my experience because you're not able to usually follow up with something super broken. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I like Tatiova. I like I like all three of these. We're at 22 cards now. We only need like one card, and we can actually add one of these sideboard cards. So I'm not super high on Thrag Tusk. I think I'd rather just have the land. I think making sure our mana base is as, as sweet as possible is really where we want to be. Is this a Nahiri deck, even though like we don't want to do Planeswalkers, we could like just smash in a Dragonlord of Tarka or a Woodfall Primus? Vivian Reed, also very good. Elk Tears, this is not the Elk Tears step because actually no one reminded me and I totally forgot, but you were also not around, so I it's probably best this way. <laughs> oh man. 
<clears throat> is Sun Titan any good in our deck? I don't think so. I think it's either one of the Planeswalkers, which is awkward, but still pretty okay. I also like Nahiri because it's a discard outlet for uh, Aaron Barrel Wright's shenanigans. Zealous Conscripts. Felidar Guardian. <clears throat> Sulfur Falls is actually pretty good. I like Sulfur Falls because we don't actually have a lot of blue fixing lands. Um, I could see Zealous Conscripts being super, super strong here, but I'd rather just have the fixing land. Sword comes back. That's pretty good. Yeah, we're definitely taking the Fire and Ice. It's a solid card. Arid Mesa came back too? Holy smokes. Arid Mesa gets Stomping Ground, Temple Garden, Sacred Foundry, Steam Vents. That's pretty good. Definitely taking Arid Mesa here. Can we also get that Tatiova? Can the Tatiova come back? Because that'd be pretty cool. <clears throat> I'll stick Dungeon Geasts. Pestermite. Outpost Siege. Oh, Ralzar came back. That's cool. I would oh search for him. That's great. I might like search over Elves of Deep Shadow. Yeah, I think I do. <clears throat> so we need two cuts here. Interesting. I like Pilgrim's Eye. Is Unburial Rights and Gifts too cute? Do we just take these two out? I guess we could cut Ral. Tim, thank you so much for the, for the sub. Welcome back, buddy. Oh, Hajigulashi, thanks for gifting that sub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Preach, as the kids say. All right, so we need some... Is a charm also an option? Yeah, we can take the Ral out. I think that's fine. <clears throat> I like the Nahiri because it does give us a way to discard things like Unburial Rights. And additionally... Um, we can actually negative it to put any one of these beast, beastie boys into play which is nice and Burial Rites isn't actually hurting our mana restrictions though like we're actually going to just put it in the graveyard we have Jace to do that, we have Nahiri to do that we could just not draw it that's a strategy I like Rights is our only black card, but we're not casting it. We're just gonna we're gonna gifts ungiven for unbarrel rights and like Woodfall Primus, and then just cast it for white. <clears throat> That's our plan. Look at all of our we have eleven lands and they're all friggin' gorgeous. Yeah, we're not casting this for black guys. We have no way to, to play black mana other than a bird's paradise and a fertile ground. Which is actually two ways to do it. So we do have actually two black sources in the deck that could actually theoretically cast our one black card. Don't get here as often as I'd like, but glad I made it time to school on transfer. Mostly harmless. Really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you for saying so. So we need to cut one more card. We have 12 creatures, so I think we're good on Silverheart. We have a bunch of ramps, so I think we want to keep this. And just play 41. Hoping to not draw a card. It's a bold strategy, it's a bold strategy Our this mana base seems insane. So we're going to play one planes for sure. Yep, they knew. Um, How many, how many fetches? In, do we have three fetch lands that get so many lands? How many lands can be gotten with fetches? We'll put those right above as well. Yeah, this deck is gas. Okay. <clears throat> so if we add one planes, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight white sources. Way more than enough. Blue sources, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven one because this gets yeah this gets steam vents this gets steam vents or breeding pool this gets steam vents this gets breeding pool so one two three 
four, five, six, seven, eight sources of blue. Wow, actually, also good. Um, this is actually 11 lands. So I'm actually going to play one more blue because we have double blue, double blue. And we want a Jace Finn's Prodigy, really. Not including the two Signets either, which are both nice. Red, we have one, two, three, four, five. Wins with these six, seven, eight, nine. Sure. And then we have green, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three, four, five, six, seven. Nope, that ain't going to work. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, that'll do. All right. <clears throat> done deck looks good I like it are you going to be doing ultimate masters drafts? yes I'm going to probably be doing a ton of them I have loved every master set that's been on magic online so um, yeah I'm game This hand actually seems great. Fertile Ground is a nice one into Pilgrim's Eye, which gets us any color. But we also have uh, we have green, red, and we also have blue, and we have white, red as well. So let's try not to die to the mono white aggressive deck. Actually, Lightning Helix is pretty good for that. Uh, we're definitely gonna play fertile ground here because we want to I kind of want to play on here because it lets us lightning helix but here's the thing if we play gruel signet here next time we can go one one gruel signet on here or fertile ground on here and then play lightning helix on this guy but they're probably just gonna attack for a million here it also lets us play hunt master next turn which is nice yeah we can just go gruel signet here <laughs> cobbled wings yeah man I just give them flying I don't know why cobbled wings would be in the cube I actually don't know why pilgrim's eyes in the cube but it's a fine card oh they didn't pump oh so now we just get to kill what do we get to kill here these are the questions So one problem is that figure is going to be a four. This guy is buffing by two right now. I think we're going to kill this guy because the figure is not as scary. So we're going to go one, two, fertile ground on this guy. Add a red. Helix this guy. And play that. Oh, and also figure is a one, one. Oh, that's great. So never mind. They have to waste a ton of mana to do that. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna. I'll probably do like one or two uh, UMA drafts in real life, and then and then I'll be like, all right, I'm good. Um. So what if we actually just pass here? How do, do we do we die? We just go gifts ungiven for for all one two three four five six. We can also just play consecrated sphinx. We can do a lot of things this turn. One two three one two. I think we're actually just playing gifts ungiven for unbarrel rights and like dragon lord of Tarka. Does that sound good? We can go four and one because they can't pump both, and then we have a pretty solid beater. Yeah, that seems pretty nuts. A buddy of mine is preparing with me and is trying to find two sideboard cards against spirits when they get two hex per floors out. Anger is stopped by the indestructible and the other pump. Yeah, that's actually not ideal. What about Blessed Alliance? No, Blessed Alliance is not great. Settle the Wreckage? Is Settle the Wreckage good? I don't know what deck they're playing, though, so it's hard to... Oh, no blocks. One, two, three, four, five. I'll take six. I'll go to five. Language does seem good. 
So four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to three. That's brutal. We're also going to two after this wooded foothills resolves. What do we want here? Sacred Foundry, Breeding Pool. No. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Nope, that ain't gonna do it. <clears throat> Actually, do we just get like... How much mana do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's not a ton. We could gain two from this guy. One, two, three, four, one, two. Um, yeah, I think it's still Dragon Lord of Tarka and Unbarrel Rights here. I really like Knight of Autumn though. Like they put Knight of Autumn in the graveyard and they give us Dragon Lord of Tarka and they give us they put Unbarrel Rights and Knight in the graveyard. Um, so we can actually go land. We're going to go one, two. Yeah, this is actually fine. We're going to go Dragon Lord of Tarka and Umber Rides. Done. So then we have one, two, three, four, and we can actually play Pilgrim's Eye, get a land, and then Dragon Lord of Tarka here. I think we're still going to Pilgrim's Eye for the land here. Then I have one, two, three, four. Let's do that. Oh, that's unfortunate. I thought this guy was just a one, one. Yeah, that's pretty brutal. Yeah, maybe Mirror Battlestar might have been better, actually, at this juncture. Unburial. Get back Dragon Lord. So we're definitely going 4 and 1. Maybe they don't regenerate. They do. So if they don't have an answer, we're fine. If they do, we're dead. That's what it comes down to. Because we can also play Hunt Master next turn, which is pretty strong. All right, the rare deck did a cool thing. Yep, they never don't have it. <laughs> pretty unbelievable, but <laughs> all right. Sure. Silk Wrap can come in. Is it Charm can come in? Those are both very efficient. Uh, Woodfall Primus, you can come out. And you're probably too slow. Yeah, it seems fine. I'm drooling. It's not ideal. I'm but committed no crime. I'm drooling. All right, let's try again. Uh, hand seems good. I like the Lightning Helix. Sacred Foundry makes it pretty easy to cast a Lightning Helix. Probably get a red. And 
and now we probably won't. What was the elk tier stipulation? Anybody remember what it was? It was a million years ago. I'm looking through the chat just to see if it's still in there. I don't think it is. Let's get a second island here. Because we have a lot of double white cards. I think we can just pass here. <clears throat> like if they want to pump this guy, it's fine. They can't pump it twice, so. Till the end. This is nice because we don't have to worry about mana leak. Two two lifelinkers is also very relevant. That being the case, maybe Trustani was even the right pick last game because we get the lifelink and we get three bodies. I don't know. We had a lot of options last game. I will definitely admit that I forgot about the lifelink. All right, I'm actually going to keep this and make it known. All right, so you got a 5-4 here. Uh, I'm actually going to take 5, and I'm going to tribunal this dude. So we can go... Oh, Dahlia's obnoxious. Actually, we can do Jace. 1, 2, 3. Yeah, we're going to play Jace. And gain four. Seems good. Seems seems strong. Elk tears stip. Uh must draft elks, must draft any woodland. Yep, that's annoying. Must draft any woodland critter type creature, excluding beats. Beasts, I assume you mean. And must draft sad looking cards, crying, tears, depression. Wow, that's must draft solemn if able all right that's our that's our step i'm here for the undies <laughs> yeah same oh i see um well i guess we'll jace here and see what happens it'll probably be a land Which is actually better than a Boros Signet because it lets us cast this and equip it. It is indeed a land. It's a long Signet. One, two, three, four. And we're just going to play this. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we can't do anything else. So they can either just chump block every turn or it gets real bad. They can also block with Amiri if they want. Saddest card in the cube? Probably Solemn Seal Lackham, right? Is Mike coming home anytime soon? No, Mike will be home at 1 a.m. So. Oh. Fascinating. Wow, I gained four and you trade a. That was interesting. 
All right, so you have like one card left. Fascinating. Fascinating. What, my Spock? <laughs> Fascinating. Oh, it's your boy. Oh, yes. Let's do it. Let us do it. Let us do the thing. I don't trust Ani is pretty discordant. That's barely English, little Willy. Oh, you coming to play Tapped? Dang it. Biscuits. Biscuits and gravy. I forgot I, I forgot about this idiot. God, these dallies are so problematic. What do we take if you... So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And we get to draw two. That's good. I'll I'll do it. Sun Titan, duplicant. <sighs> I had to draw land and duplicant. Seems good. Ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba -da -ba Dr. Tarmogoyf, I don't know about all that, but I appreciate you saying so. Yeah, this is actually... It's decent because we have two things to discard to Jace. We can discard a bird and a, and a wooded foothills. We really want to get rid of this, though, because if this comes into play and all of our dudes are tapped, it's no bueno. It's no bueno. Sure, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11. I think that's actually fine. This guy's not untapping next turn. We could also just chump block and gain two, which is preventing five to gain two seems pretty good. Doesn't have first strike. Yeah, this is actually fine. Don't be a land. Is it charms actually not bad? One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, Battlesphere is not great while we have while they have. I'm gonna go to the birds though. I think that's even worse. Oh, we got Lightning Helix. We got Lightning Helix in the graveyard, so we can actually go Jace discard. Yeah, this is actually not terrible. So we're gonna do this, Jobby. Oh. Is a charm is easily the worst here. Uh, let's get back Lightning Helix. One, two, three. Lightning Helix. This lady. Who's that lady? And we can also Knight of Autumn to get rid of their duplicate, which is probably pretty good. Let's do that. I can just play land. Jace dies, but he's done his job. This guy doesn't untap, so they can attack us for f like two. And they're likely just going to attack Jace. I gotta go to sleep. Hope to catch you again soon. Tim, have a good night, buddy. Tell Berlin I said what's up. <laughs> they are playing off the top of their deck so eventually like we are going to be able to flip Huntmaster when they just draw land you just put this on Thalia right god they're very good at this game there's no way the alpha here right like not with a sword we, not when we have sword of fire and ice uh, at our face at, yeah we're not going to trade anybody for this We'll crack this. Uh, we only have we have two blue, two red, two green, and two white. So I'll just go steam vent. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So we can actually play this guy, which is pretty strong. Or we can just they go three here. We can actually just sword here. 
one, two, three. So if we sort on here, it's still trades, not great. But if we sort here, then they deal three and then it dies. And they're gonna have to block because otherwise it dies. One, two, three, four. So even if they exert, they have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, we go to one. If they draw land here, which boy, it'd be nice. They never draw lands. You never draw lands, it's really sad. I just want this guy to flip. So this is five five, do we just double block here? This is an easy block, so I don't think that's ever happening. Right? So we take five, six, seven, we go to four. Exerting again. They're also at 21, which is a lot. Five, six, seven. I think I'm just going to block with this wolf token. Again, I don't want to lose Huntmaster. I do want to preserve my life total. And next turn, we get both Pilgrim's Eye and Battle. No, we don't get both. We get Pilgrim's Eye at least. Oh my god. A Battle Sphere is what I meant, not Pilgrim's Eye. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we just play Battle Sphere here. We can also pass and shoot like. This guy's not untapping, which is fine. Yeah, we're just playing this. And if they do hit a land, then we get to finally flip Huntmaster. And this just shuts off most of their things. All right. I think we just did it. I think we just stabilized. Poor doggo, you right. Hmm. Just kidding. What is this, dude? Quarantine field for two? Yeah, it feels like quarantine field. I don't think they post combat though. It doesn't make any sense. Oh, they couldn't quarantine field for two because they have six mana and Thalia's out. Oh, that's interesting. So they're giving us an opportunity to kill Thalia, but I'm not really interested in all that. So. Yeah, I'm good. Well, now this guy flips, which is great. Uh, I think we're taking off this bird. Uh, choose you, choose your bird. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, this is great. This lets us play Immortal Sun and also flip the Ravager back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, Thalia. <laughs> Thalia's out still. Hi, <laughs> that's a it's a thing. Alright. Uh so this is a three three, so it can deal six. I forgot about Thalia. I'm not good at magic the gathering. Uh one and two. Yep. Uh, I'll tap one. We'll just tap two of these guys. I think having four guys on the back, especially when we're going to kill the glory bound initiate, is just fine. Yep, you got it. Deal one to your face. Oh no, that's the wrong one! <laughs> oh, that's sad. 
That's not the one we wanted to kill. Oh, eh, it turned out good. Everybody wins. <laughs> that seems fine. All right. And we cast a silk wrap, so my god. No, oh, yay! <laughs> well, good work, everybody. And go to game three. Let's go to game three. Let's go to game three. Oh, let's go to game three. I like it. I almost like Reclamation Sage if they have, if they know they have Quarantine Field and uh, Honor of the Pure and Conclave Tribunal and you get it. I can keep going. I kind of like Dungeon Geist too. I think we could take out Unbarrel Rights and uh, Gifts Ungiven here and just play, play, play Dungeon Geist. Yeah, I like that better. I'm going to need you to 3 0 so if we can get some. All right, take it easy. Take it easy. Oof. the champions my friends this hand is pretty good till the end burr, 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 burr. how does one earn a birthday step usually if you subscribe for uh, an extended period of time and uh, you ask nicely. I will extend you the birthday stip courtesy. Oh boy, what do we get here? I don't really want to take a million damage. I think we're just wooded foothillsing for. How do we get a second blue for the Venser? Is my question here. I guess we. I guess we have bird right. So we go this into Gruel Signet. Does that let us cast? It does let us cast. We can also get uh, Steam Vents. Next turn we can also play Bird and Silk Wrap if that's... Okay, I don't know what's going on here. I'm a little, I'm a little uncomfortable right now with the decisions that are being made. Do we just get a Mountain? I think, actually, based on the little amount of pressure they have, we're just going to get steam vents. Play a Nahiri. Plus a Nahiri. I will use the ability. I will discard this bird. Next turn we can go everything. We got we got the world. So if I sub now, I might get a birthday stiff come May. Yeah, probably. Emiria Angelio. Angelio. Emiria Angelio. These are not words that I'm saying, just to be clear. I'm just making up. Uh, I think we want a white source here, so we're just going to. We have double blue, double red, double. Yeah, we're just going to get planes here. I ain't in the business of taking a million damage. One, two, three, four, five, tribunal. One, two. Use the man that's in the pool, man. I'll discard a 
Venser here. I think Silk Wrap is probably stronger against them. Okay. How is this real life? What is happening right now? I try to keep up with the Discord, man. The Discord, you guys are... And, like, it's weird because, like, I really don't have... Like, you guys are crazy in the Discord. And you guys Not crazy, but, like, you guys are... You guys go crazy in the Discord. And it's super active. And I love it. Um, but it's real hard to keep up with. Which is amazing. Okay, so... Mirror Battle Sphere seems good, right? Can we just go Hunt Master, Mirror Battle Sphere? Five mana. Like, we could just go Woodfall Prime. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, whatever. Oh, we took out the Woodfall Primus. Wow, that's terrible. I guess Consecrated Sphinx is still fine, right? Oh, don't forget, whatever we play is going to go back to the hand. So it's actually Battle Sphere, Hunt Master Sword. Can I be having 20k viewers is not realistic. Like, that seems actually unbelievable to me. How is that even possible? There's not even like 20,000 people who watch Magic. Right? Like, is that even... Who are all these... Who who are they? <laughs> Where do they come from? So it's like for an artifact, you can put a mortal sun on the battlefield too? I don't know what to get here. So we are going to actually take two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we're going to go one, two, three, four, Huntmaster. Sword. All right. Well, we got one card. I don't know what, I don't know. I have no idea what they have. Maybe they're just like slow rolling a. It's not like Kiki G here, right? Like we can't just like. Like, if they were going to wipe the board, they wouldn't just throw a Restoration Angel into the board, right? Yeah, sure, I'll take six in the air. <sighs> Bruh. I feel like attacking me for three here is pretty aggressive. Worth noting, we also have one, two, three, four, five. We also have a colonnade that we can play. We can actually activate colonnade, equip it, and then attack. And then they kind of have to block with Resto. One, two, three, four, five. We can also just... Are they dead if we do this? Like, they have to block with Resto here, right? Otherwise, they take four, they go to four, they block here. Yeah, they're basically dead. One, two, three, four. I 
So if they block here, they take four, eight. So they actually, they can block here and then not block anything else. Um, if they block here and then they go block, block, they go to two. But they're probably not blocking anything here. So they just, if they block here. So they block here, they still take eight. So they actually have, this forces them to block with the glory bound initiate. While still keeping up Huntmaster and not trading Huntmaster. Yeah, let's not hate on Gabby. Gabby's actually a friend, and I, I have no issues with Gabby whatsoever. Gabby's great. Um, let's... Let's put the kibosh on that, friendos. Uh, they should be tradable. Yep, this is what we were assuming would happen. Oh, then they... Oh, no, okay. Change your mind. Yeah, I assume they did that thinking that the life gain from this guy was going to be worth it. Like, getting, getting an extra four and going to six is going to be higher, but... I mean... Uh, no blocks. Duplicate on Huntmaster. Elspeth. More like Smellspeth. Aren't you dead? You block three. You have one card in hand, and we can counter it with a. Uh, is it Charm? This one. Oh, we need a blue. No, we. Oh, it's going to do the stupid thing wrong. One, two, three. Use this one. Uh, one, two, Three. One, two. We got blue and red. All right. I mean, you could also just equip this, but if they have like a condemn, it's not ideal. So they can go condemn, block, 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 and they. Yeah, this, this is this is how death works. Got him. All right. Our deck is sweet. I don't know if it's great, but it's sweet. And that's the important part. What game is this? It was game three in round one. Definitely keeping this beauty. This is great. We can cast everything in our deck. Our mana base is... Say what you want about the deck. Our mana base is golden. Golden. Golden mana base. That's a little Hearthstone meme, in case you guys didn't know. Oh, a glint sleeve sniffiner. So we're going to play this, we're going to play Prodigy, and then next turn we're going to be able to kill this with a Lightning Helix. We don't have to do it this turn. 
Hearthstone had a rollback on their graphics? Is that is that a true thing? That doesn't sound accurate. Well, no blocks. Oh, ooh, ooh. They didn't play anything? They didn't play a land? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Let's definitely draw a card. Uh, I'll discard a forest. Let's get a white source. Sacred Foundry or uh, Temple Garden? Probably Sacred Foundry. A second red would be nice. And next turn we can play Huntmaster of the Smells. Frank doesn't get the joke, but the... Oh, oh yeah, right, wait, I don't... Oh, I don't know what's happening right now. Oh, God, guys, you have a lot of chat things happening, and I don't understand any of them, you see. Oh! 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 Oh, this is, the, this is real. Are you guys ready for the realness right now? We are going to be bringing this guy back post haste one two three four we'll just play hunt master here oh next turn we're going to be doing the right thing we can go colonnade on barrel right sphinx it's only cheating them by a turn but it's still pretty good you get to flip jace too that's a good one Oh, they didn't attack? Beautiful. Let's give uh, this guy a little bufferino. And by buff, I mean the opposite of buff, whatever that is. I'll draw some cards, sure. I like drawing cards. This is how we do it. Oh. Well, that's fascinating. You might say I'm fascinated. I'm less fascinated now. I'm less fascinated, you see. Um... So one, two, three, four, five. Play Tristani. Tap the dudes. Yeah, I like this. One, two, three, four, five. Tristani. Play a Clifftop Retreat untapped. Tribunal, we will tap. Uh, Tristani is actually a great blocker. So is the wolf. We can go one. Definitely not blocking with you. And you. Get rid of you. Uh, make you slightly weaker and we're probably just going to pass here because I don't want Bromaz to come in and have to like double block with like these two maybe that's fine though yeah we're going to draw two I'm not too I'm not too afraid of it are you doing the elk tier step after this? I am and then I'm going to get some food at some point I don't know when probably after that oh god oh this deck is fantastic I'm having a good time I see. <laughs> well, I see. I see. No strips. Thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Hello. I'm with Rodent Reclamation. I heard about some rat debt. Listen, buddy. Don't look at me. My rat debt is under control. I like to think of Consecrated Sphinx. Like, there's so many options. You got Jace. You got Conclave Tribunal. Or that plane. Oh, wow. Two damage up to target opponent or planeswalker. Yes, Ravager can deal damage to planeswalkers. That's all I wanted to know. So I can literally just flip Ravager, kill this, kill this. And uh, this doesn't count as casting, right? So if I just suspend this, it doesn't count as me casting a spell, right? I like that. Um, 
right, you can flip you and you. I mean, gifts ungiven, we can put two cards in the graveyard and it's still just like, oh no. I don't care about that. I do a little bit. It's it, it's going to hurt a little bit. It's not great. But we're still way, way ahead. Yeah, this, our lands are on point, dude. You are correct. You are correct. This is probably one of the better mana bases I've had because it's like, it's not like we have an Arid Mason we can only get like one land. Like a lot of times you'll have two lands you can get with it and then you're like, oh no, I don't have any lands. Like our Arid Mesa can get Sacred Foundry, it can get Stomping Ground, it can get Steam Vents, it can get a Plains, it can get a, one of mount, like two mountains. It's pretty nice. It's a pretty nice. Do I want a Gift Sun given here? What do we even get? Like just a bunch of nonsense, right? Yeah, I don't see any reason not to give Sun Given here. Uh, Woodfall Primus, Sword of Fire and Ice, <laughs> Immortal Sun, and Consecrated Sphinx. Those are my picks. Divvy them up, boys. Give me two of these cards. What do you give me? Woodfall Primus? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that seems fine. So Sword and Immortal Sun went to the graveyard. I actually don't know what we have left in here. I guess we don't have a forest. Do we have a temple garden? We have a temple garden we can get. And we have a plains. Uh, we should have a mountain here. So we want... Yeah, whatever we do is fine. We could also play... Two, we're at like a million life. This is unbelievable. I'll just get the mountain so that this one can also get planes if we want to do that. I guess hope you don't have a counter spell with your two cards. Get rid of your blue source. I, mean, I think we trade Ravager for Brimaz here. I think I'm okay with that. Yeah, this is a good deal. Um, yeah, it's fine. It's good. So they have two cards in hand. We still have Consecrated Sphinx and Dragon Lord of Tarka. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We have 10 mana next turn. I'm impressed that this one Golem is really holding down the fort. Oh, we get to get another land here. So we have 11, which means we can actually go 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. No, nope, can't do that. Uh, let's get a white... Oh, holy. Hello. What is that? One, two, three, four. We get to do one, two, three, four, five, six. We get to draw six cards. I don't even want to do that. Jesus.
Make them draw six. You get 12 and deck yourself. Solid strategy. I'm a fan. I'm just going to do it for three. Uh, wait. Uh, choose target player. Me. One, two, three, four. Three. So we're gonna go one, get another blue, red, red, kill this, target myself. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Done. Seems good. Didn't even play anything, we're at 23. They have two cards. We have seven. I think we won this game. Should I send you some cake for Elkteer's birthday? Uh, that would be hilarious. Um, what did we even see? Blade Splicer, Brimaz, Path. I like Silk Wrap here, actually. It gets rid of a bunch of relevant things. Was this the game we saw Baneslayer? That was this game, yeah. Because it was under our Conclave Tribunal the whole time. I feel like Dungeon Geist is actually probably good in that situation. <laughs> Dragon Lord of Tarka. Oh, I'll just kill your... Oh, she got Pro Dragons, though? Dang. Dang. Pro Dragons, bro. I almost, like, don't like Lightning Hill. Actually, they had Glensleeve Siphoner. Oh, this was not a stip. This was just a deck that we drafted that we were very fond of the hell does that mean what a weird what a weird way to speak english this was a deck that we drafted okay weirdo i'm tempted to take the gifts ungiven unbarrel rights out it was kind of cute Oh, snap keep. Look at this beautiful mana base. It's actually gorgeous. This mana base is a work of art. Being able to cast all your spells is muy bueno. Also, all three of these land all actually this doesn't count. Or uh the sulfur falls doesn't count, I guess. Steam Vents lets us play both Sulfur Falls and Cliff Top Retreat untapped. And that's pretty cool. I actually have to sequence these lands correctly. I think we want to go Temple Garden into Clifftop into Grill Signet because we still have an island here. Oh, Evolving Wilds, huh? <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> oh, I'm <the> <laughs> Recon Bravo team, exactly. I'm just like, oh, that's your... Oh, that's cute. That's a cute fetch land. Isn't that nice? Isn't that special? We can also just play Island into Sulphur Falls the turn after that. Mama's in the kitchen. Oh, two, two islands, two blue sources. Oh, we're just going to silk wrap this dude immediately. Like, they're not any any close... They're not very close to playing Brimaz here. They could go White Mana Blade Splicer, which could be problematic. Yep, that's what they're going to do. But I still think it's better to get the Glint Sleeve Summoner Siphoner. Summoner Siphoner off the board. Especially because next turn we can just play Tristani. Which is pretty good. Frank bullying people now he has a oh look at his mana base look look at it look at my mana my mana's amazing give it a lick 
It tastes just like raisins. This is where they get countered immediately. Oh! Fascinating. I'm impressed that she's alive. Are you going to path this? Ooh, that's a bold strategy, God. No, okay. Nothing happened. Oh, wow. So we traded a Tristani for a Blade Splicer and a Day of Judgment. We have blue, blue. We need another green source. Let's go Windswept Heath into just getting a green source. And then next turn, no matter what they play, we can Dragon Lord a target. Birth Gate King, King, King. What? 630? What? Kerwit, what are you doing, dude? <laughs> Where did you order a birthday? <laughs> it's not even my birthday. <sighs> oh, Jesus. Our game just got worse, guys. Yikes. That's a yikes, dog. Ugh, crying out loud. Oh, wow, and this is an ground. That's... That's great. We don't really have many answers for a Consecrated Sphinx in our deck. That's unfortunate. I, I I actually am I'm I'm flabbergasted that you like ordered a birthday cake and you're having it sent here because it's Elk Tears' birthday. That's I don't even have words for that, man. That's ridiculous. I think we realistically play Dragon Lord of Target here anyway. It's actually just a slice. Okay, that's way more reasonable. But also kind of ridiculous that you ordered a slice of birthday cake and had it sent here. Carl likes to throw his Microsoft money around, but it's okay because he does it well. So does Villy, though, to be fair. You guys are... So does Thanos, actually. All of the... <laughs> I love that, like, the biggest, like, supporters of the stream are all literally Seattle Microsoft guys. That's pretty hilarious to me. All right, we're going to draw naturally first to see if we can... Oh, my God. This is how you break the game, just to be clear. All right. Just don't have path, I guess. Oh, do you have path? Do you have an answer? Vraska's Contempt. Let's draw a card, because that'll trigger you to draw cards. And then I'll get to draw cards. If you want. Oh, declined! Wow, look at you. Look at that, re look at that restraint. Yeah, it's hard when they're drawing three cards a turn. Yep, that ain't going to do it. All right, we're just going to go to the next game. Wow, Consecrated Sphinx, huh? That is not a card I was expecting to see. Well, that's certainly awkward. None of these cards actually do anything against a Consecrated Sphinx either. All is dust does, but I really don't want all is dust here. Especially because it gets rid of our Tribunal and our Soul Crab. I think that was just a fluke. I'm going to say it was a fluke. Well, problem is, I will play first. Oh, this is the worst hand ever. Uh, this is significantly better. We can get a steam vents here. Turn two, Jace is pretty strong. Uh, you're going to go to the bottom. Thank you. Little Willie with the sub. Oh my god. Little Willie must have came into some money recently. Well, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. 
I'll also see you in like a week, I'm sure. All right, we're gonna we're gonna get Steam Venturinos here. No, I sub just. <laughs> oh man, that Pikachu emote is doing work, dude. Wow, surprise Pikachu, best emote decision ever. Oof. Jesus. Well, our hand is not great, but our Jace is, so. Oh, I'm cringing so hard right now, dude. This is not, not like this. That's brutal. When I go O3 on his Elk Tears when I go O3 on his last three rents because I need to go to sleep early. <laughs> That's so good. It's so perfect. We can craft our own narratives in the chat now, thanks to Surprise Pikachu. Oh my god. Oh boy. I guess we're getting a planes here. So next turn we can go hunt master, which is nice. Well, I would hope so, buddy. It would not be the same without you, sir. Frank is how popular surprise Pikachu is. Oh, good lord. Oh, Lightning Helix. Getting back Sword is decent, but I think we're just playing Huntmaster here. Or trying to. Can we hit a land? Immortal Sun. Draw an additional card. Yeah, we're just discarding that. Seems like a fair trade. Things are not going according to plan here. But we're not dead. We do get to Lightning Helix, the Tide Hollow Sculler, and play the other dude. One, two. And then if any land lets us play Sphinx here, um, yeah, this is actually not terrible. I don't love it. We go to five. We're playing a Sphinx. We got a green, green. I'm pretty sure we just get a second, a third green because if we draw Woodfall Primus, I want to be able to cast that. Just go to the next turn. Don't. Oh, wow. All right. I don't know what they have, but. We are doing all right with it. Tristani is a lifesaver, especially because we can equip something as well. <sighs> oh my god, this game! Duplicate? Fumigate! That's actually great! 
Oh, wow. We get to just untap Mere Battle Sphere? Actually, I want to untap Tristani because of the lifelink. Yeah. And then we'll equip Tristani with, like, sword, I guess. It's less damage, but I don't want them to have, like, something big. I, they're probably going to play Consecrated Sphinx here, which is pretty awkward. Elspeth. That doesn't kill anything. This is fine because I can double block one of these guys, but then, yeah, double block here, one block here. Yeah, that seems fine. Because he's still getting six, which just puts us way ahead here. Thanks. And we'll move this over so that it doesn't die to an egg. Amp, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. Or the regular sub. Looks like it wasn't a resub, but... Uh... Okay. Oh, I didn't play a land last turn. That could hurt us, actually. So they could activate this and block here to save Elspeth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They, we also know they have, they have one card in hand, though. Oh, Pro Blue does get by it. <laughs> That's a good point. The problem is that, like, I want to be able to go to their face and then go also kill this guy, or also uh, kill Elspeth, which I don't think we can do right now. We can also just attack with both at Elspeth, and if they want to just block here, it does nothing. Yeah, the problem is if their last card is, like, Day of Judgment, it's bad. All right, so we're going to do this. We're going to go Elspeth and face. And if you want to block here, that's fine because we can actually redirect here. So you have to have an answer for all the things. And I don't think you do. All right, well, that's good for us. Oh, wow. One, two, three, four, five. Counterspell? Disallow? All right, you have no cards in hand. This is great. So we're just hoping to avoid, like... Actually, Baneslayer Angel we have an answer for. I roll. Oh, all right, that's fine. Yeah, block Tristani, prevent one, sure. And Vraska's Contempt? Go for the throat. Seems good. Yeah, I'm not going to just leave. Having only Tristani on board is not good enough. They have to top deck a, a Day of Judgment or Wrath of God.
Otherwise, they take 14 here, which is pretty nuts. This is the most damage, so we're definitely giving it pro black or blue. And we're also attacking with everything, because if we tap all these guys, it's only an extra... I guess it's an extra 8, so it's basically the same, right? Because this guy's becoming like an 11, and they're taking 4 from these guys. So it's almost the same. They're, each one is dealing an extra 2. 2, 3, 4. But the Tristani will just get blocked by the Creeping Tar Pit. Contempt is in graveyard. Good to know. And they go to three here. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty backbreaking. That's a cool land to have. That's also lethal. Wow, our deck is nuts. Uh, we can. So what does it say? Uh, if I controls that creature on the tap turn, it's, I think so. I think it would stay tapped down. However, once it's not a creature, I'm not sure if it would just like. Uh, we won the match. That's pretty good. We're doing well. I'm a fan of our deck. All right, so... Uh... <laughs> oh, man. We got a... Delivery birthday cake in, uh, in about 11 minutes, so... I actually have no idea where you even ordered this from, Carwit. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Boston Market. <laughs> oh, my God. I will play first. Oh yeah, this hand is great. So we can get a breeding pool here, then we have access to all the colors along with a fertile ground on turn two. Into like Knight of Autumn, into like Sword Equip. Oh god. Actually, we can't get a breeding pool there in Mesa. I don't, don't listen to me. Don't listen to anything I'm saying. Uh, we're going <laughs> to... Someone's like, he's going to get a breeding pool with that in Mesa? That's unbelievable. I just assume we can get any land you want. It's got to be either Temple Ground or Stomping Ground. I think we want a garden here. Huntmaster next turn would be great, followed by a five mana sword equip. That's really what we want here. I think I'm going to call a mulligan and catch this one on the YouTube. Hey, no less than a god. Have a good night, buddy. Appreciate you hanging out. Some guy named Muke is on his way with your cake. Muke bringing the cake. All right. Well. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Lord. Oh, we're definitely going to go Huntmaster here. Muke is how they say Mike in Boston Market. 13 minutes? Oh, wow. The, I guess the estimate changed. Unbelievable. Do I just eat the cake on stream? That feels so awkward, but I mean, like, you guys ordered it, so... Elk Tears, you're gonna have time, right? You're gonna be you're gonna be around, right? Oh, we just get Knight of Autumn and kill this if we don't hit a land? That's gas. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's get a green. Destroy your boy. Do it. Wow. Yeah, you guys say that now. Wait till the YouTube audience gets a hold of things. Uh, I had to shut it off once you started eating. You sound like a pig. It's just going to be like just full-blown harassment. 
And then the best part is when they, they're just going to quote me saying that in the comments, and that's going to be also good. But I'm going to acknowledge it first so that I know, so that they know, that I know. Our opponent's name as well, I mean, yeah, is that, that's like the best name ever. Oh, I like that, because if we kill it, we get a trigger. You're going to miss the last round of your draft. Unbelievable. God, I really want to land here. Representative of the YouTube audience here, after due consideration, we are fine with it. Oh, appreciate that. I've been with you for four... Yeah, but it's your birthday, so you should be with me all day. You understand? I'm a people person. Yeah, get this dude out of here. So, 634 is the estimate that we're getting here. That's something. Oh, I oh, I know you. I know you. Wow, where are my lands at, bro? Bro. Bruh. I could keep a Venser. If we have a way to discard this, it's great. Venser could bounce their journey. Get another Huntmaster back. I'm just going to play this, because if we can start attacking with this guy, it's better. They have three cards, we have four cards. not bad uh you can have an avicen's pilgrim that's less exciting land oh i like i like exiling this that's pretty cool nahiri's an og as well oh we can also discard him oh we're doing things here I heard a thing. I can't tell if it's cake or not. It's going to be so weird someone coming to my house and be like, hey, you ordered one piece of cake? Like a fucking weirdo. Cool. You got me. I should have given you the Lotus Cobra and then you wouldn't have had the man up. That was amazing. That was utterly incredible. We had so many, like the option to discard this and then play this off of Fertile Ground or just destroy this is just insane. Like the fact that we lost all of that because... Like, everything had to break so well. Like, we had to give them Avacyn's Pilgrim instead of Lotus Cobra. Oh, God. Yep. That's sad. Sure. This game feels like it would be way within our favor if uh, we didn't miss literally five land drops. But here we are. <laughs> yep. Okay, so we saw a journey, we saw a signet. Yeah, this game is just kind of dumb. Muke is on the moon. God, 
Oh, God. Oh, God. Just gonna play Rex Sage here. Again, I'm not really... Yeah. Eh. Actually, Raul could be... Ah, I like his Charm here. His Charm gets to kill all their small idiots. And eh, Dungeon Guys gets to tap down their big idiots. So, all these are pretty good. It's a pretty good... What are we cutting here? Maybe Rex Sage is a fine cut. Maybe we don't need both. All right, we're going to keep this hand, and we're going to keep our fingers crossed for the ability to actually play this Immortal Sun in one game. We're going to get a breeding pool with this, I think. Because then we can play Jace on turn two if we draw it. We don't need two drops. We can actually just wait, I guess. So we have green, white, and red. Sure. So, what are we getting here? We want a blue. I guess he's getting Steam Bins and Breeding Pool, actually. Yeah, let's do that. And we play Cliff Top, which comes to play on tap thanks to the mountain. And we're killing this guy, which will make him a 2 3, but it still dies. The next turn we can go Hunt Master. And if we draw land, again, we get to sword and equip. Feeling better about this game. Yep, probably just getting rid of that guy now. Oh, also being able to play birds here is great because next turn we can still, if we hit a land, we can either play. Immortal Sun, which is great, or we can play and equip. So Bird was actually a fantastic draw. I would give you cross streets, but I don't want to tip anyone. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Master of the Old Hunt. Good, good guy, good guy. We can actually just play sword and equip, equip bird for next turn. If we play hunt master, it's literally just gonna die to the first master token. And whereas if we start getting in there with the bird, uh, then we actually can kill the wolves in response but I mean that all means the the sword has to live the bird has to live they don't have to play a flyer like there's a lot of things that have to go right I have to look out for cake this is my only issue with this is that I have to like be vigilant and then I have to go get the door and oh, see there we go never never don't have it it's very nice that they always have it and then they kill my I'm like, there's no, there's a situation where you're not supposed to kill that. Kill that bird a thousand percent of the time. Cruel signet. I want to play this guy now. Because you get two guys and they can kill one of them. Like, they can just kill Huntmaster. We trade with the wolf. But, like, I don't want to do nothing this turn. Let them get a second wolf. Play a mortal son. Let them get a third wolf. Like, it's just going to snowball out of control at that point. 
at least Huntmaster trades with one of the wolves and they can't attack if they want to do that. Thankfully it's dark outside, so I should be able to see a good amount of light when they like pull up. Yep, that's fine. Oh, Immortal Sun's great now. Uh, you can have Tree Speaker, I think. Blocked by the Immortal Sun. Wow, that's awesome. That's a cool. That's a cool way to word that. <sighs> All right. Seems good. Well, we get to draw two cards, so that's not terrible. All right, still five minutes. God, it just keeps getting longer. It was 631. In five minutes, it'll be 639. So it's an eight-minute delay. Woof. Yep, this board is pretty ridiculous. That's actually pretty impressive. One, two, three, four, five. That was perfect. Oh, our oh our spells cost one less. All of them. That's amazing. So you have Path Exile. One of your last two cards, Path Exile. It's just Mike, and they he misspelled his name. I was like, "Dang it!" Wow. <sighs> Jesus, what's it like? It's got to be incredible. Put a counter on all your things. No? Fascinating. You're gonna let me activate Jace here? Oh wow. This could this could turn things around, I feel like. So we just get to go one, two, what do we need? We have double red and double blue. We can also lightning helix. I don't think we have enough mana to do all of it though. So we need a white, a red, blue, blue, red. This costs two. I can't flashback with Jace? Oh, because of the... Yeah, all right. All right. Well, I guess we're just going to do this then. That is sad that we turned off our own Jace. I mean, it's got to be... It's got to be this guy, right? Oh, wait, no. Cancel, cancel. Oh, they can actually activate this. Oh, that's great. I actually forgot about that. Um, deals damage. So we're going to go one. Blue, blue, red. 
One, two, three, four, five. So that means X is two. I guess we're tapping out for this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Yeah, so we're getting the bonus. Kurt, the funny thing is you could just be messing with me this whole time. You could be like, yeah, it's going to be at 631. Uh, I mean, 731. I mean, one more minute. Almost there. So what do we take? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We actually survive by 1 here? Jesus. I guess we could block something. Maybe we could block a 3-3 three, three if we really need to. So we can block here, we take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We go to 1, but we get to keep a Jace. That seems fine. I really actually just don't want Jace to flip here. I'm pretty sure... <laughs> Come on. Come on, dude. Well, I don't think there's any way we can actually deal with that. That's unfortunate. Dragonlord, it's Harkup. Four. One. Exile that. Carry the one. Could I make up the name Mule? Yeah, Muke. Muke, probably. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have nine mana. That costs six. We can play Nahiri and Dragonlord Atarka. God, Nahiri can't do anything. I keep forgetting. That's, ah, yeah, that's actually pretty bad. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Yeah, so basically we can only drag and learn Atari. I keep forgetting about the uh, yeah the thing, which means I think we're pretty much dead. I guess we get a loot here. <laughs> it's not gonna do it. Oh man, uh, yeah, I think we're just dead here. Yeah. I mean, I'm surprised. I didn't think the green-white aggro deck was going to be that oppressive. But uh, I thought our deck was actually insane. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check Aaron Kane uh, custom deck boxes out. If you use the promo code Frank, you get 10% off, which is super sweet. The link is in the description below, both on Twitch and YouTube. Same thing with Meundies.com slash Frank Lepore. You can use that affiliate link to get 15% off, along with free shipping and free returns. And uh, those are both great ways to help the stream. Uh, they support me. They su you know, you get something out of it cool. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. I'll see you next time.